Pilot studies are often important components of most research studies. What is a pilot study? Why do we need to conduct pilot studies? And what is the process of pilot studies? These are the questions that we will briefly respond to in this presentation. What is a pilot study? Well, a pilot study is generally a mini version or small scale version of the research study aimed at trying or testing the research process and protocols in order to help in assessing the feasibility of the proposed main research project. So the pilot study could either be a mini version of the entire process of the main research project or it could be it could be based on certain aspects of the main research study. For example, the pilot could be the pilot of uh, the process of data collection or the analysis processes or tools. Examples of piloting could be the piloting of observations, for example. For example, if there is a research where we are making use of observations on a large scale, we could begin with pilot observations. Um, it could also be pilot of the interview process um, in which we will interview, we, we will um, conduct initial pilot interviews, or it could be pilot of questionnaires or other tools um, such as tests, etc. And in experimental studies, it could be the pilot of the experimental studies on a small scale. So, why do we need to conduct pilot studies? Well, pilot studies are extremely important, um, especially in researches which are conducted by junior researchers or by student researchers, mainly because these helps help us in establishing the feasibility of the research project. It is important to uh, to actually make sure that the research projects are feasible from the very beginning. And so pilot projects or pilot studies helps, help us in um, this, in the establishment of the feasibility of the research projects. Then the feasibility of the data collection and analysis tools and processes. So what the, the kind of data analysis tools that we are proposing for our main project or the, the, the data collection or analysis processes that we, uh, that we want to use for our main study are these actually feasible in, in a practical sense? Um, this is something that, that we can um, help establish through the use of pilot studies. Um, then the authentication and improvement of research processes and tools. So the pilot studies not only helps us in, the, in establishing the feasibility of the data collection and analysis tools, such as whether we make use, we should make use of interviews or questionnaires or observations or other data collection tools. But also the pilot studies help us in the authentication and improvement of the research processes and tools. So in other words, these help in the validity and reliability of the research tools and processes. How valid our tools are in, in bringing in the data that we want to use in our study. How reliable are our research protocols? These are the questions that, that will generally be uh, answered during the pilot studies. And overall, as a result, the pilot studies help in establishing the rigor of, or, or you can say, the strength of our research studies. Then, um, the pilot studies also help us 
um, in actually guarding against possible large scale project failures. Uh, if we know the weaknesses, uh, the possible problems in our research studies through our pilot studies, this actually helps us in, in guarding against the projects, the, the failure of the projects on a large scale in the main studies. The next uh, importance because of which we need to conduct pilot studies uh, before we conduct the main study is that these help, um, the, the, the results or the data that we uh, get during our pilot studies could be used in our main studies as well. It will depend on the aims of the study and in many cases the pilot studies, the results and the data could very well be used in the main study. Then um, the pilot studies are also important because these actually help <clears throat> in substantiate and establish the need for and the importance of full or large scale studies. So studies that, that, that generally, for example, um, that, that require funding, in many cases, <clears throat> researchers might present the results and the success of the pilot studies to the funding agencies as examples um, that can help in, uh, in, in obtaining funding from the funding agencies. And the, uh, the other very important use of pilot studies is that this is especially very useful for junior researchers and student researchers because they don't have enough exposure to the process of research and to the possible problems that could arise um, during the research process. Um, so the pilot studies help those junior researchers or student researchers in actually finding, uh, uh, finding about the issues, the possible issues at the very beginning or before the start of the main study and that's why these are very useful for junior researchers. Now towards the last section, the last part of the presentation, the how. So how are actually pilot studies conducted? Well, actually pilot studies depend on the kind of research that we are conducting. So as we know that generally in, um, in social science research um, and other researches as well, there are three main types of researches, the quantitative type of studies, the qualitative type of studies and the mixed method studies which make use of both quantitative and qualitative uh, protocols and data collection analysis processes. So generally in quantitative studies, um, many uh, pilots could be conducted and these pilots are actually many versions of surveys for validity, reliability and feasibility of the data collection analysis and access processes. So before the conduct of the main study, the, for example, uh, the survey on a large scale, um, uh, surveys could be conducted during the pilot process on small samples, which are actually subsets of the larger populations or the larger samples from which, uh, which, which will be later on based um, of the main study. So what will happen that that surveys on or during the sample will help in establishing the validity, reliability and feasibility of the data collection analysis and the possible issues um, do, the, that could arise during the main study. And that is why um, this, is, this is how the pilot study will help in the main study. And so generally in quantitative studies, uh, which are based on large scale surveys generally, uh, the process of pilots piloting is highly important and in, I would say it is essential uh, to conduct pilot studies before going into the main project. In qualitative st studies generally, uh, the improvement of data collection and 
data collection tools and data analysis processes such as the data collection through interviews, observations, protocols. The improvement actually takes uh, happens through the pilot studies. Um, so, for example, the uh, qualitative data collection tools and processes such as interviews or observations, um, their, inter their, their language and content could be improve, improved during the pilot studies. And also, this will actually help in, in refining and authenticating the data that we obtain um, later on in our main projects. In qualitative studies, um, again, pilot studies are important and they are very useful, but they are not um, that much essential as is the case in quantitative studies. The reason is that generally in qualitative studies, uh, data collection tools and protocols uh, keep on evolving um, and the, the nature of quantitative, qualitative studies is more flexible as compared to quantitative studies. Therefore, because of the flexibility of research design in qualitative studies, um, uh, there is generally a natural process of evolution and improvement of research of the research protocols and research processes and the data collection and analysis processes. Uh, but despite this flexibility, uh, it is quite important for junior researchers and student researchers uh, to conduct uh, pilot studies um, in order to get to possible weaknesses in their, in their research process in the very beginning. And in mixed method research studies, as we know that um, there are both quantitative and qualitative type of data collection and analysis processes in mixed method research studies. So the, the, the type of process that is followed in quantitative research and in qualitative studies, both type of processes will be uh, actually used for these distinct or actually interdependent parts of the mixed method research studies. Thank you.